<laughs> so guys, Well then, breakfast is out of the way, so let's get to it, shall we? <clears throat> For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Hamad. I'm a 20-something year old guy, recently moved back from Pakistan, and instead of going to university, I'm pursuing a career in content creation. And this video is mostly just a little sharing video, so I want to talk to you guys about my journey so far my highs my lows a lot of runs that i've had if you've been following me for a while now so yeah let's let's start basically um i started this little thing as a hobby a year and a half ago and i didn't really think much of it if i'm being completely honest i didn't really plan anything out but the more videos I recorded, the better I got at it and the more interest came out. And then I did a little flashback, looked at how much I really did enjoy doing this stuff when I was a little kid. I mean, I've got a YouTube channel where I was a six year old boy making YouTube videos. Let me know if you guys want to see that as a video though. And I thought, hey, if I can do this as a fun thing, why not give it, give it my own for once, actually um try to make some good content and that's what i've been doing for the past almost the past two years almost now and it hasn't been smooth sailing i've taken a lot of breaks in between i've had a lot of, a lot of ups and downs but i have been starting to get my fruit for it as well um just recently we did hit about 8,000 subscribers which is awesome and quite unbelievable for me to reach i've got thousands of views my highest viewed video is standing at around 12.5k views which is still baffling to me but i'm so grateful and so so thankful for that that you guys can't even imagine and yeah it's it's been it's been fun hi my highs have been like going to so many events me meeting new people getting out of the house a lot more but my lows have also been like just family stuff, uh, maybe work, trying my best to put the best content out and in the process kind of like burning myself out completely and not uploading for weeks or months on end. And that's why I've actually decided I don't want to burn myself out. And, th and then I started to make only event videos as uh, when I started partnering up with a management team known as social media who no doubt have helped me grow a lot and have taught me a lot more about this industry 
but that wasn't the way to go either. I realized what I liked about doing on YouTube was that I was making content for for myself basically for people like me. And instead of leaving in between like maybe I'll be, do this maybe I'll do that I'm going to I'm going to figure out a perfect schedule and don't get me wrong um uh, if you're on my Instagram you've seen me plan out my whole month for videos but I never get around to actually filming them. Yeah, I know. That's a bad look on me. But now I'm actually going to try my best to make sure I'm I'm able to get the videos out on time. I um I want to share with you guys a really important thing and that is what is my actual goal with the YouTube. So a lot of people do this to get famous or money or um just as just as something they enjoy for me this is all of them but not all of them so what i mean by that is i want to do youtube not just because i know that it's a good way to make money or that i can get famous from it or it's easy no none of that it's it looks so easy but when you're when you're editing the videos when you're thinking of the titles when you're thinking of the uh, content to, what you can do when you have to actually go out and you know film the videos plan the videos um it's it's a lot more harder and it's a lot more than what meets the eye and I don't mind it. I I mean I'll admit to it. I get drained, I get uh, lazy, I get flustered a lot of the time, but I never really say that I'm going to not make my video. And what I want to do now is figure out the perfect method for me and show you guys that this is something you guys would enjoy and to ultimately reach my goal which is to prove myself. not to not to anybody not to my parents not to my siblings not to my friends just to myself i have taken quite a unique path in my family per se so a lot of my family members uh studied got get their degrees and then they figure out what they want to do jobs businesses uh, all of the above but with me i i didn't go to uni I barely passed my A levels and O levels. And the reason was I never really had their mind. But I, but what I do know is I always had a mind for the creative field whether that be photography, videography, um uh what making videos, recording, um editing, uh, making banners, uh public uh, speeches, interactions, debates, all of this stuff. I always had my own personal liking to this all the time and i feel like that's what i want to stick with for the rest for the rest of my life basically and i want to show myself that even though i'm more or less of a screw up i can figure this out on my own and you know find find myself a common path understand where i'm going and understand what i'm actually trying to achieve in life because at the at the at the age of 20 21 uh, next week by the way so I wish you a happy birthday i've realized i don't really know a lot but i've messed up a lot but itself always looking at them at the negative which i've been doing for the past 2 years um i'm starting to see stuff with a new eye and no it's nothing like oh maybe uh, and he's got girlfriend and that stuff it's uh, or he's got some money now or he's not having to do a job or he's not paying bills nothing nothing like that i just i realize i'm more of a negative nancy than i assumed and i've actually aired all my trauma at this point to a lot of people and i've dealt with a lot more than i should per se at my age and i feel like instead of making myself a victim because of all this i'm going to make it my tool and make it be the reason why i get stronger more motivated and just overall a lot more committed to this art so yeah that's pretty much what i've done so far and what my goal is um i am trying to get my daily videos back on track you might have seen it already yesterday i posted um of the day trip me and uh, salar went to to oxford 
um, hopefully I can you know get back on track because I found a lot of things you can do in London and yeah maybe I might not have the comp- the best financial situation so I could go to every single thing but I can afford a m- decent things here and there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start recording these videos I'm gonna try and improve at least one thing in every video introduce something new um, and fix something that I th- don't think was good bring in old features that I thought I liked as you might have seen with this video as well and overall just you know try and skyrocket my channel to you know and the level of success and uh, success and respect I believe it deserves because for most of you guys it's just a YouTube video there's just a random guy talking about by himself on the internet but for me this is this is my I'd say last resort to prove to myself that I'm not a completely and total you know loser so if you guys don't think I'm a loser hit that like button if you do hit that like button I'd rather get likes than you know figure out that I'm a loser or not <laughs> but yeah that is me basically but yeah um i do also want to point out that in a lot of my videos you've seen a lot of like new people random people and it's not because i'm have got a lot of friends or anything sorry I'm, i thought i got something in my hand um it's because i realized that i bring people in thinking that they might bring something unique to the vlog but in doing so i kind of diminish away from my actual like my actual goal so if this is the video itself i'm going to be moving further away to make sure i'm accommodating to their needs so they have a good time and then focus on the video later on which is something i'm not okay with and something i'm not going to stick with from now onwards and yeah i have a lot of people in my videos but people i know or people who genuinely want to collab with me instead of just you know asking people hey you free you want to come go with me cool no cool it doesn't work like that but i'm going to try and show you how much this means to me and how much you guys mean to me how much the opinion your guys's opinion means to me and overall work on my videos a lot more and i i know i've said this so many times in almost every single video but stay tuned i'm i'm working on things i'm slow at it but I've got a few things planned. I've got a major major uh, trip planned in March and it's going to be a fun series of videos coming out soon. Um I have a lot of uh, nooks and crannies that are going to be going around uh, going on in the next couple of weeks. Um and I want you guys to be there with me. Um I have my birthday coming up and overall I have got I've got a plan now as to what I'm going to do. See before I started like you know thinking positively i would make my videos edit them and just go and just upload it never think about it again upload the next one never think about it but <clears throat> sorry but now i'm going to make my video i'm going to actually do something and share with you something informative because for me you guys have realized this i'm a one take guy i don't re-record if that scene's good it's good if it's bad it's not but it's an important clip it stays in i don't retake because i know this is a bad idea but uh, for me this this vlog is supposed to be showing you guys my real unedited reactions so maybe like let's say we went to oxford right i had i saw so many things for the first time because i've never been to oxford and what i could have done is i could have explored everywhere and then come back and made a new video um and pretended that i'm seeing it for the first time but that that doesn't really speak to me per se like what i have in mind for my youtube career so i'm going to stick with my one take thing but i'm going to keep keep making sure that i'm you know actually good at this because i have my ups and downs just like any normal person other than that The only one major thing that I'm really excited to do is you know give you guys more of it of information. So uh, you might have noticed in the past two videos I w- I went to Sunamask for a uh, learning masterclass and I did try to give a little bit of background history about uh, what we're doing and what the brand is but obviously I didn't really prepare as well as I thought. 
and then when we went to uh, Oxford, Salar gave you guys a little bit of history about the um, problem with the uh, with the colleges and the bridge, which I didn't know. And I feel like if I can find fun facts like these, I can actually make my vlogs a little bit more entertaining and more inviting to you guys. And that's what I'm gonna give it a shot to as well. Sorry. Yeah, you guys saw I just ate so when the gas is trying to get out of my body now. But yeah, hopefully everything is gonna go according to plan. I'm gonna try my best and hopefully you guys do enjoy my videos and you know, you can take this further and further till until there's no end basically. Like this this goes on and on and on until either I die or the internet stops existing. But yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. We're growing constantly and I appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>